Hi, and welcome to the Build Your Own Data Logger course, brought to you by Wild Labs and Freak Labs. I'm Jacinta from Freak Labs. This is Submodule 1 of Module 3, the Arduino Command Line. So, what's that? The Arduino Command Line is a library written by us here at Freak Labs, and it's what we use here to develop and test our applications more thoroughly and efficiently. Basically, it's a library that allows you to write commands or functions to control and test your device in real time through the Arduino Serial Monitor. But why is this useful? It's useful for testing purposes. So we can write a function that tells our device to take a temperature and humidity reading and print it to the Serial Console whenever we type temp into the Serial Console. This means we can test our code, our device and our peripherals in a controlled and more thorough way so we're confident of the device that we're deploying. For example, we could put the temperature sensor in the freezer, type temp into the serial console and check how accurate the sensor is based on a known temperature. So the Arduino command line library lets us test easily and thoroughly. It allows us to change parameters in our code and observe the responses in real time. It saves us time and it lets us check that the libraries we've installed that have been written by other programmers work. It's useful for debugging in the field and it's useful to collect data when we're in the field without having to remove the SD card. We do remove this code before deployment because it takes memory and the device is asleep most of the time anyway, but it's really, really useful for testing. In lab one of this submodule, we're going to be installing the command line library via the Arduino Library Manager. We're going to understand the library functions we'll be using and we're going to write and test our first command. Hello, command line. First, let's look at the program structure. You may remember a standard Arduino's program or sketch always has a setup function and a loop function. So now we're going to look at the library functions and see where they fit into this structure. We first need to include our library by using the include macro above the setup function. This basically gives our program access to all the functions that sit within the command Arduino library. Then we move to the setup function where we put two library functions. Command.begin, which takes the board rate as an argument. Command.begin functions the same as serial.begin and actually calls that function inside it. It also sets up the memory and structures needed for the command line. Command.add. Command.add takes the command name and the function name as its arguments. Command name is the keyword we type into the serial console and function name is the function that the keyword maps to. Command.add adds the command to a list known as the command list. That's a lot of the use of the word command, but it will make sense later. In the loop function, we have command.poll. Command.poll continually checks the serial console to see if any of the words we've typed in matches a keyword that's in the command list. If it does, command.poll calls the function that's associated with that keyword. Finally, underneath the loop function, we have our command function. This is the function that executes when called by the command poll, and it always needs to pass in two arguments, arg count and args. So the command function always needs to pass these two arguments, and we'll discuss them more in the next video. But for now, as long as your command maps to the correct function name, and it has these two arguments passed in, the function will get called. And inside the function, we write our code. First, let's install our command line library using the Arduino Library Manager. To access the Arduino Library Manager, make sure you're online. Then open the Arduino IDE and go to Tools, Manage Libraries. This is for version 1.8.9. If you're using a different version, it might be in a different location. Once you click on it, the Library Manager window will open and will check the Arduino server for the main library list. Once the list is loaded, type in CMD Arduino in the search field and select Command Arduino by Acubert and Jacinta. In my ID, it's already installed, but in the bottom right corner of the window, there'll be an install button. Click install. Once it's installed, you'll be ready to use the library. Create and save a new sketch. At the very top, the first thing we want to do is bring the library into our program. We do this by using the pound include macro. We can manually type it, or use the Arduino IDE to bring it in.
Now we can start using the library. In the setup function, the first thing we'll do is initialize the library by calling the command.begin function and specifying the board rate. Next, we add a command by using the command.add function. This function takes two arguments. The first is the command keyword, the second is the function name. In this case, we'll add a command that we can issue by typing hello and map it to the command hello function, which we'll write later on. In the loop function, we just need to add command.pol. Each time command.pol is called, it will check to see if anything has been typed into the serial monitor. If it has, it will check whether what's been typed matches any of the command keywords in the command list. In this case, the command list has a single command called hello. When we type hello, command.pol will call the command hello function we're about to write below. Now we write our command hello function. When we add a function, it will always follow the same template. It will start with void, followed by the function name, and then pass two arguments into the function. One is an int called arg count, and the second is a string list called args. We'll be going into these two arguments in more detail in the next lab. Inside the command hello function, we'll print out hello world to the serial console. Now that our code is finished, we verify it can compile by clicking on the tick in the upper left hand corner. Once that's cleared, we check our board and port is configured properly by going to the tools board and selecting WildLogger and checking our port is correct. Then we click on the download button. After the code is downloaded, we open the serial monitor, then hit enter and we should see our command line. Then we type in hello and we'll see our function execute and send a message back. It's important to note that the command keyword is case sensitive. Success! Now that we've written our first command, in lab 2 we're going to send and access parameters dynamically.